Hey all, ADH here. Now if you're struggling to find all of the stars on Shift in Sandland, my guide will show you exactly where these stars are and how to collect them. Now finding Shift in Sandlands is quite tricky, it's hidden away down in the basement, but jump through this part of the wall and you'll be transported there. Now if you want to check out a specific star, you can use the timestamps down below. Now Star 1 is quite straightforward in comparison to most of the other stars in Shift in Sandland. It's worth noting there is a wing cap up above on top of this platform I'm just running by. There's also a green shell that we're going to revisit in a different star. Now these blocks, just make sure you're standing underneath in the gap when they roll over you. Now in the distance you can see a pillar. Once we get there you can run up the side of there and we're going to wait right at the top for the birds. Now he should come flying straight towards you, just hold on a second and then jump as he is right above you. Now for star 2 we just need to aim for the pyramid. There is a few things we can make use of in this level. The wing cap or the green shell could get us there quicker like I mentioned in star 1. Now I'm going to show you the wing cap method in a minute but I'm just going to follow the normal route for the time being. Now, what I would advise is speaking to the pink the bomb. He will get a cannon ready, the opposite side of the level. Now, the bird can steal your cap. You don't want this to happen. So what I would say is make sure you can get your cap back as soon as possible. In this case, I'm just waiting for the bird and then I'll grab it back off him. Now, if you lose your cap on any level, you will take double damage if you get hit. Now the idea is to go up this slope and we need to get to the top of the pyramid. However, there is this whirlwind that can get hold of you. Now if you do get sucked up, just make sure that you can kind of land on the pyramid. And then just go round the side, avoiding any of the flames. Now the pathways are very narrow here, so go careful you don't slide off. If you hit the quicksand, you will die. Right, let's use a wing cap to get to the top of the pyramid instead. So maybe do a backflip or a triple jump to get up here. Make sure you have got the wing cap at this point. And then we're going to triple jump, fly into the air, and then just aim towards the pyramid itself. Now if you can't make where the star is, just make sure you land on the pyramid and then go up the normal route. Now star number 3 requires us to get inside of the pyramid, so like star 2, just head towards the pyramid. Now you can go the normal route or grab yourself a wing cap from up above and then fly to the pyramid. Again watch out for these enemies, make sure you're underneath them when they roll over you. Now once we head up the slope, go directly into the entrance of the pyramid. So this is quite a big area, there's a lot of platforms moving around, there's a lot of Goombas as well. So what I'm going to do here is a backflip. Now if you don't want to go up this route, you can continue onwards and there's a way up as well. So let's just jump over. We've got a pole as well that we can head up. Whoa! 
Now jump up and hold down the jump button while you're moving across the top here. Yeah, if you fall off this section, you're going to land into the sand and that will drop you off further down the level. Now you can hide in the alcove here or do a jump over the top of this enemy. There's a few little electrical enemies as well that you need to avoid. Once you have done, just climb up the pole. Now there's a couple of ways you can get past this block. You can run directly underneath it while it's in the air. I probably wouldn't recommend that. Or just jump over the top. Here we go! Now Starfall ideally requires the use of the green shell if you haven't already used it yet on this level. So I'm going to go and grab that first. So a triple jump should get us up here. Now the idea is we need to use the shell to cross the tops of all four of the pillars. So as long as you go across the top of it, it will count. Now once you've got across the fourth one, you should hear a sound. Now if you don't hear that sound, you need to go and do the pillars again to find the one you missed. Once you've done that though, just head back to the top of the pyramid. Now drop inside here and we're going to land onto an elevator. Now ride the elevator all the way to the bottom and then we can go through a hole where there's going to be a boss fight waiting for us. Now the way to defeat this boss is when you can see the eye open on the hands, run in, punch it, dive into it, whatever way will damage it. Once you've done this three times on each hand, you're going to get your star. Just be aware the hands do move around a bit, trying to push you off the edge of the platform. Now star number five is for the eight red coins. The first one's hidden right at the back here. Now just make sure you don't touch the sinking sand. You will lose a life if you do touch that. The next red coin is under this structure inside of a block. So if we go right to the back, just punch it we'll get our second red coin. The third red coin is just in front of us. Again, just make sure you're not stuck underneath this block, unlike me, uh, when it rolls over you. So we're going to grab the third coin. The fourth red coin is in the oasis. Now the rest of the coins are going to be in the air. There's a couple of different ways you can do this. I will show you both. I'm going to go for the wing cap block just around the corner. Now 
Now it's just a case of flying around the level, grabbing all the red coins that you can. Now to reactivate the wing cap, just triple jump and that will get you back in the air. Now if you think your wing cap's going to run out, just make sure you're not flying over sand because if you fall into the sinking sand, you're going to lose a life. Just go and grab another wing cap if that's the case though. Now you might find you don't get enough height to collect the red coins. If you do struggle with that, we can use a cannon. I'll show you after I've collected the star though. Just grab the final red coin and we'll get our star. Now just head back to the structure in the distance and grab it from the top. Now, like I said, if you are struggling to get enough height, grab a wing cap from this corner of the stage, jump into the cannon, and then fire yourself high up into the sky, and you should find this a lot easier than before. Now for star number 6, we need to follow the same route that you did in star 3. So get back into the pyramid, you can either use the wing cap to do that, or use the green shell, whatever gets you there quicker. Again, like before, just follow the same route up. Use this block here to get yourself up to the next level. If you can't make this jump, then continue on. And there's another way up here. Now to collect this star we need to get four coins, four particular coins, so get up the slope, but instead of going right to the top like you did in star 3, drop down onto the platform to collect the first coin, then you want to kind of jump down to the left of the waterfall, collect your second coin, do exactly the same to the right of the sand waterfall. Drop to the left again, and that will get you into the moving sand. Collect star four. If you do miss it, just keep mashing the jump button. Eventually Mario will get the coin. And then for coin number five, just grab it from the end here. Now if you head down towards the sand, be careful because you could fall off the edge. And then just grab the star. Now for the 100 coins start, you're going to have to do a lot of exploring. I definitely recommend collecting the red coins like in previous levels. However, I'm not going to go for the ones in the sky. There's plenty around that I don't need to worry too much about that. But if you are finding you're cutting yourself short with coins, you could do that. Now if you grab this box and kind of hold back on the joystick, the box won't jump too high, but you're going to get 5 coins. 
I recommend collecting the coins from the bombs as well, if you pick them up and throw them. And the shy guys have a couple of coins in as well. Most of the time, if you just wait down near the ground, the shy guy will kind of dive down, and that's when you can jump on it. Now, the pokies will give you a blue coin as long as you hit their heads, and the rest of the body will disappear. Right, I'm going to collect the red coin from here. Let's do a long jump back behind myself, and there's a warp. Now, if you haven't used the warp yet, this will take you directly to the oasis in the background. So just stand in this position. That will warp you across. We can get the other red coin from here. We also have another pokey, so that will give us another blue coin. And again, with the box, like I said earlier, just make sure it doesn't go out of control once you pick it up, because you do not want to go into the quicksand, that's an instant death. And we'll grab the other five coin from the pokey. Now, if you can get this shy guy as well, you can get a couple of coins. You might want to avoid that. There is enough in the pyramid that you don't need to worry too much about this. So we're going to go into the pyramid now. Just make sure you've got at least 55 coins before coming into here because you can't get out and that will make collecting all these coins a little bit pointless. So I'm going to grab the blue switch and that will give us three blue coins just over here. Now it's worth going around defeating as many of the Goombas as you can because you're going to get a coin off of those as well. Now we can get several coins from this section. Just make sure you hold the jump button down while you're doing this and you won't fall off. Now if you are running low on coins, just continue following this level like you did in earlier stars. There is several coins further up. You've also got the coins in the quicksand if you need them too.
Well, I hope this guide helped you out. If you want to check out any of my other walkthroughs, the link should be on the screen right now. If you liked the video, maybe give it a thumbs up and leave me some comments down below. Thanks for watching.